Alrighty, I guess I can bring y'all up to speed as to where I'm at right now. My scaffolding on the front is done. I'm starting on the back. I've cut my two, I've cut two rafters uh, and I'm going to put one on each edge. In other words, I'm going to put one on this edge over here and one on the far edge. And then I'm going to pull a tape measure across and check them for squareness. Uh, you can't bend 10 and it comes in squares. So if your roof is uh, out of whack, your 10 ain't going to fit it. Uh, I don't usually wind up getting things exactly straight, but I try to get it fairly close. Of course, I'm going to have some hangover. Probably about 15 inches will be hanging over on uh, both sides. So I've got a goodly bit to play with. But uh, once I get that done, I can cut all the rafters and put them all up on one side. Go around the other side, cut them all, put them all up. And then we'll be ready to put the cross pieces, which is what we have here. It's four inch uh, cross pieces that go across up there. Oh, joy, progress is being made. If you want me to, I'll try to set the camera up where y'all can see me when I go up there. So as I was up there thinking about this, I was trying to figure how to make sure I've got that to the right point. I don't know if you can see what I'm talking about or not. If I look up... From where I was sitting, it looked like it was. When I look up there, it looks like it needs to go further up, about an inch or so. It's gonna be hard to find that point, unless I have the board coming up from the other end. Now what I might do is cut me a fake end that I can lay down up there. Or what I might do is go ahead and cut the other side and kind of set it up there. But once I start on the two ends, this roof, has a sag to it. I want to bring each one of the ends together. I'm basically going to override the sag, if that makes any sense. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut this one. I plan to make this side longer. I'm going to make them 14. Those over there are 12. But I want to have a little extra hanging off here. So I think what I'm going to do is grab one of these neck boards, cut it, bring it up on this side, kind of try to set it in place and see if I can pull those two boards ends together and attach them. So, we'll try that. I'm also going to need some longer screws. Okay, I'm glad I did that because I got my angle wrong. And the best way to get it right is to go up there and mark it. And then come back down, cut a pattern, and then cut all of my boards from the pattern. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay then, that's probably just about the worst of it. Uh, my tent is going to be probably two and a half, three inches longer than where this board is ending down here. So it's going to come out enough to certainly cover the edge of the old roof there. I may put a board across the bottom to kind of seal that off so that snow doesn't blow under there and so the wind doesn't blow up under there and try to lift the roof up and things like that. Uh, in fact, if I got my two ends set, I could put an end piece across 
use it to prop these on when I put them up and I could pull them together up top and attach them to each other. I want some long bolts that are long enough to go completely through this board and down in the board, the rafter underneath it. So for that, I'm gonna make a trip to the hardware store and and I don't know, I don't know how much more I'll get done today, but now that I don't have a work schedule to worry about, it's no big rush. And I'll work at a pace that works well with my old body. How about that? Okay then. I think I'll go do some hunting for some big screws.